Okay, we're gonna to try to describe how you put aluminum keepers in aluminum tube using pop rivets, which is the newest technique. There's two different types of uh, core tube keepers that you can use. These have a lip on the end. That's for going into soft material. If you have to go into soft material, but you've got roots and you wanna cut through it, you can use a non-lipped one or you can cut the lip off with a pair of scissors and then install it so that you can sharpen the edge of the core tube. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you don't have a big edge here from cutting the tube. And uh, if there is a big edge, there's a deburring tool. We'll use this end of the tube and you, uh, you move it around to take off that lip. That just uh, allows you to get the keeper in there just nice and tight. And eventually you'll get it down to the point where there's just no lip left. And that's pretty good. So we could install either keeper. The standard one is when you, uh, you have just sand or silt and you're trying to get into it and keep it all in there. It has this lip on the edge. And it will normally go in nice and snug like that. Then the way we hold it in place while we're drilling holes is this little keeper installer gadget and it gets drilled and that's okay if there's a lot of lip stuff stuck on it you can use one of the, the uh, flat files that's in there to make sure that there's nothing sticking up you stick it in here just enough to be able to get to it then in the kit we've got a small drill bit there's a larger one there too and we don't supply the uh, the drill you'll have to have your own drill but we just supply the drill bit. So what we do is there is a joint where the two edges of this keeper came together. We're gonna to put a, a rivet on either side. To do that, we drill a hole, and it can go right through the aluminum tube, through the keeper, and through the installer. And I like to go ahead and stick something in there temporarily, just to hold it in place while I drill the one on the other side. It's not really critical exactly where they go. And then I like to just stick another one in place there. That holds it nicely. And eh, they'll fall out. But then we'll do at least two more. I like to do a total of five, so we'll do three more. And you evenly space those around the tube. I'm going to put one in there just temporarily just to hold it a bit. And we'll put another one in here. And another one over here somewhere. Now, once we've got those holes in there, the keeper retainer gadget comes out. We go over here, I like to start at one side and I put a, a, the rivet where we had a, a hole. We put the rivet all the way through. The rivet gun has several different sizes. You want the smallest one. You can just unscrew these and screw in the right one. It should come with the right one installed. Put it down into the hole, hold it up firmly against the core tube and pop keep pulling it and it'll pop the, uh, the edge off and now that I keep that rivet is well installed then go around in order to put the other ones in again make sure you had the old stem out put the new stem in and crank it till it pops and then uh, when you let go of the, the stem should come out and you just keep going all the way around and that will uh, install the keeper for you. You want to make sure to hold it against the tube. And when you push it down in, you want the handle to be all the way up so it's not pushing the stem in. And then you let go of it, push it in, tighten it up, and it'll let go. Put one more in here. Actually, I should put in two more because I have two more holes. So the idea is to have the keeper all the way in. I mean, the rivet all the way in. Put this down onto it. Don't start squeezing until you're all the way down. Then you squeeze 
If that doesn't hold it, do it. You've got to squeeze again, hold it against it, squeeze again. And then you can put the last rivet in, come over to the other side. They should all line up nicely if you had that little plastic cylinder in place. And they're in. Now, if you really want to, you can tap that down with a hammer, but it makes it a nice, easy install and the keeper's in place. To take that back out, when you uh, have your sample and you want to take your sample out the tube, in your kit, there's a larger drill bit. And what you do is you take out the smaller drill bit, put the larger drill bit in, and then you go, and right where these pop rivets were, you go into the center of it. I may not be doing it too well here. And just enough so that it starts to twist. You don't want to go all the way through, you end up with a big hole, which won't hurt anything, but it just takes the little end off. And once you do that, don't turn it on with your finger next to it, like I will. Yeah, we're gonna have a little problem with this one. Okay, well, if you have a problem with that, what you can do, put the small drill bit back in. And we may have bust this one up. Drill it, and that may be even a better way. I've done this in the past too. Just use the small drill bit, get it in the center, punch it through. And then, once you've done that, and these other ones are through, we'll use the small drill bit. That's probably the easiest way, because it actually pushes them through nicely. Now you've got the keeper out. It can actually be used again. You can dump your sample. That's all there is to it.